In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cap text in PowerPoint, just like this one. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Having opened PowerPoint, the first thing I do is change the layout. I'm going to go ahead and choose blank. You can use any layout of your choice. It doesn't really matter. Next, I'm going to add my text. So I go over to insert, then I select text box. I draw the text box like this, then I enter my text. Calf text effect in PowerPoint. I'll select the text box and I'm going to go ahead and change the size to 88. I make it bold. You can choose whatever font you want. I'll just leave it as the default font that is Calibri. Let me open up my text box so that I'll have it in two lines. I'm going to center my text. I go to shape format and I'll align my text to the center as well as middle. Awesome. Next, I'm going to insert a wooden background image. I go over to insert pictures, this device, and this is the image I want to use. I select it, then I click on insert. I've downloaded this image from pexels.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It's a royalty free platform where you can download videos and images. I just resize it to fit my slide like this and I want to send it to the back. So I click on send to back. Now I have my text in front. I select it then I make sure the text box is selected like this. Now I'm going to give my text a fill color. So I go over to shape formats and the text fill. I'm going to go ahead and use the eyedropper and I'll choose a color from my wooden background. So I click in here. Awesome. I'm also going to give it an outline. So I go over to text outline. I select the eyedropper and I'll select a different variation of the previous one like this. Next, I'm going to add a transparent fill to my text so that the background image will show. So I right click on the text, then I go over to format text effect. I make sure text options is selected. Then I click on the fill icon and the text fill. I make sure solid fill is selected and the transparency, I set it to 15%. Next, I go over to text effects and I go to shadow. Now I'm going to go ahead and use inner shadow and the first one will work fine. I select it and now I have my calf text effect. Let's take a look in slideshow. This is awesome. So that's it on how to make a calf text effect in PowerPoint. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And remember to hit the notification bell so that each time we drop a new video just like this one, you will be the first to know. In the meantime, make sure you stick around to watch any related videos from the channel. Keep watching and we will see you in the next one.